Hello, welcome to the uh, Insecure Chef. It's been quite a while. I mentioned in one of my last videos that uh, there would be a delay. We've moved from our home of 35 years into our new home. And uh, if my wife would be so kind, she could do a quick scan of my new kitchen. And I'm very pleased with that. It's much, much bigger and a lot more modern. And it gives me a lot of space. So I'll try getting back into, uh, uh, into recipes uh, as soon as I can. But today we're going to do, uh, in my favorite tool, my Ninja Foodie, we're going to do what I call a, a vegetable chicken pasta soup. Uh, you can call it a lot easier, I guess, but that's what I'm calling it. So we're going to start out uh, doing a little sauteing. So I'm going to turn the, uh, the saute onto medium high. Uh, let's get this going here. Be nice if I could see. And we're going to go down to medium high, like that, hit the start button. And I'm going to put in about oh, a tablespoon or thereabouts of uh, oil. Uh, should about do it. And we're going to let that heat up. So we'll give that a minute and then we'll be right back. Okay. All right. We're going to start with the sauteing. I put a tablespoon of oil in there, as you saw. It's nice and heated on medium high now. I'm going to throw in the onions. Always a delicious smell. All right, as, as well as the chicken. Now the chicken here is a uh, half pound in which I cubed, and that's going in now as well. All right, now we're just going to uh, brown this up. And uh, if there should be any sticking, uh, if you're if you like wine, you could always use a little uh, white wine to deglaze the bottom of the pipe. Um, I don't do alcohol, so uh, if that occurs to me, I use uh, white grape juice for chicken dishes and red grape juice for beef and pork dishes. Uh, it may sound odd to you, but it works, and it's actually has a very mild. Uh, and a very delicious flavor to the finished product. All right, we're gonna get this so the chicken is browned up. And uh, when that's done, uh, we'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so uh, the chicken, if you take a quick look, you'll see it's uh, browning up very nicely. And the onions, I'm just kind of waiting until they soften up a bit. So in a, mo in a minute or so, we'll continue this process. All right, it's a very simple dish to make. It's a variation on so many common uh, soups and uh, vegetable uh, dishes. So, all right, once this has uh, met my satisfaction, again, I'm really doing this for the onions to soften them up. All right, now we're going to be uh, adding the uh, carrots, celery, broth, and... Uh, Herbs. So, carrots going in, celery going in, all right, and now we're going to take the broth, put that in, all righty, good, 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 give that a little stir. And now we're going to add uh, a couple of shakes of salt. That's up to you. I'm using very low salt product here. So maybe a half a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon. Be up to your taste. Or you can add it at the back end, whatever you like. All right. And now I'm just going to put in the, uh, the rosemary, sprig of rosemary, sprig of thyme. That'll go in. We'll give that a stir. All right. And now I'm just going to add a uh, smidgen of uh, lemon juice, approximately a teaspoon. So, I thought I took out mine. Yes, I did. Okay, one teaspoon coming up. There you are. And my lemon juice is over here. Right back. Now, I didn't have any fresh lemon, so... 
Be angry at me. <laughs> All right, one teaspoon of lemon juice. All right, that's in there. And then give it a nice stir. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pressure cook it. So we'll get our lid for the pressure cooker, making sure it's on seal. Okay, and I'm going to just uh, stop that. And then I'm going to add the pressure cooker. Now, sometimes the pressure lid will give you a little trouble when you put it on if you've already been cooking because it feels the heat and the pressure underneath. So it'll go on, though. Just, just be patient. Let's see how patient I am. Yep, there we are there. So now I'm going to switch this over to pressure. All right, going on high. And I'm going to pressure cook it for eight minutes. Okay, pressure cook, high, eight minutes, we're ready to go. And I'll put my pressure release president on the top for use when we have to let the pressure release. So, while that's heating up, uh, it'll take probably a few minutes to get to pressure, and then we'll be doing that for eight minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, so uh, we're back. As you know, we uh, pressure cooked the soup for about eight minutes and then I did a natural release of the pressure for about 10 minutes and now any remaining pressure I'm going to release here All right. I don't know if you have to listen to that now for a minute or two so uh, we'll be right back okay so I've released the uh, the final pressure I did a 10 minute uh, natural release and then just manually released it any remaining pressure Took the lid off, and you can see the soup in there right now, and it will be uh, completed in a moment. As you can see on the foodie front, it's on warm right now. That's what the red light is down there in the bottom left. And with that, I'm going to throw in a quarter pound of uh, pasta. You can use any pasta you want. These are elbows. And now I'm going to stir this around. All right, just make sure it all gets saturated. And uh, I'm going to give it about 10 minutes, and that should be sufficient to cook the pasta. And we'll be back in a few minutes and see how it goes. All right, so here is our finished product. If you'll see it in there. All right, the pasta has been uh, cooking. Uh, if you'll recall, I said that uh, I simply threw the uh, pasta in after the pressure step and gave it about 10, 12 minutes to just cook in the hot liquid. And that's where we're at now, and it's finished up. So one thing I want to tell you is I made a, a small error. I had forgotten that uh, we were working with pasta this time, and as you all know, the pasta will absorb a lot of the liquid. So uh, when you weren't looking, I added a second cup of chicken broth. Uh, the, the recipe, on the other hand, will uh, denote that. So, yeah, it was a whole can. Uh, what did I say? Cup. Cup? Don't listen to me. It was a whole can. So you'll see on the recipe that there were two 15-ounce cans, so 30 ounces of uh, chicken broth. Okay. So here is the finished product. We'll be eating this for dinner tonight. That's my dog. And uh, did I forget anything else there, Karen? No, I think you're good. Okay. Anyway, uh, we'll try getting back to uh, more cooking as our house settles in. As you know, moving is quite a hectic deal. My wife took care of all of it. <laughs> so, uh, from the Insecure Chef and his lovely wife. Have a good night. We wish you a fond adieu. I think that's correct. Take care.